it's the brown goddess again i know i haven't made a video in an extremely long time extremely long time i put up my um my lookbook or whatever um but so this is just gonna be a quick it's gonna be a quick me putting on my makeup or whatnot me talking about what's been going on Stuff that's been going on in um, social media and in the world and um, speaking about a couple of shows that I was turned on to and got hooked on. Okay, so um, first things first was I think I don't know if I told you I had went back to my hometown a while back and um, me and my son got tattoos. He got um my name tattooed on his arm and then i got my tattoo here okay so um that was that or whatever i don't know when i'm gonna go back to my hometown um i know the holidays are coming up thanksgiving and all of that kind of stuff but me because i really don't eat a whole lot and then my kids are weird they don't even like macaroni and cheese so um i'm wanting to cook myself again um this year for thanksgiving up here in georgia but i might have to drive to mobile so my mom my mom my baby can see um her dad's side of the family spend time with her cousins and stuff i know my son you know when you get a teenager he's about to be 17 he's um he don't care he, he don't even like taking the ride back with me um, to Mobile, but, you know, he will. This is just my quick little throw-in uh, ponytail. I'm going to, um, you know, fix this and edges. I just, this, I'm going to the gym. Going to the gym, I'm going to probably have to run a couple of more errands. But the reason why I put, I do my makeup um, is because I, this is just something I like to do. And yes, I do wear makeup to the gym. No, I'm not doing it to catch somebody at the gym. I just like to be more put together, even if I have to go to the gym, because nine times out of 10, when I leave the gym, I still have to go to the, um, store, excuse me, um, uh, or other places. Or other places. This is just, um, I'm going to moisturize my face because it's cold here. It's been like 20-something degrees. Well, 30-something degrees here um, in Georgia um, and stuff. I don't put that much on because I have like kind of combination oily, oily skin. So, I just put a little bit on like not the, um, the t-zone because you know usually with people the t-zone is the um oily part you like under my eyes where i have a little um wrinkles because um i used to smoke cigarettes for a long long time and um i just decided um one day i didn't want to smoke cigarettes anymore so People who smoke cigarettes, I'm black, but black do crack. You see up under there. See, I think that might be from um, smiling a lot and when I smoke cigarettes. So, let me try to get that back on point. It's not like I look old or nothing bad. So, this is um, old family secret. I'm just playing. Um, over, um, for primer, this is milk and magnesia. I just put a little bit in the um, top. And I um, put it on my face. I hope y'all can't hear it. I'm watching um, Maury on my laptop too while I make this video. Only because I um like a little drama, ratchet stuff every now and again. And um, hey, I like Maury been watching it for a long time so and even though it's like the same concept and and every show is like the same concept but with different people it's still quite entertaining for me so yeah i do watch stuff like that too so 
don't whatever judge don't judge i really don't care but um so i just put this on them or whatever and um that's my first primer that i use that's just to um kind of hold back some of the um the oils that come through and then i use another primer where in the hell is it Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. So um I use my other primer on top of it, but so if you use just a I with my skin, if I use just the milk of magnesia and I don't use this on top of it, it makes my makeup even if it's Fenty, even if it's Maybelline, even if it's um my other makeup that I be using, um, true match, it'll look cakey on my skin. If I just use um the um milk of magnesia by itself, so that's why I put this uh gel kind of um primer. It's called Wonder Skin um Poreless Primer. It, I got this from um what is the point? From Shop Miss A for a dollar. So don't think that all the high end, you gotta buy all the high end stuff. Look, what they be doing is, can you see that? Okay, whatever. Shop Miss A. Okay. So why this dries or whatever? For like a, it don't take that long to dry. I'm put my eyeballs in. I'm not blind. Shh. You know, <laughs> blind, blind, but we're going to put these in. And, um, oh, oh, that didn't go too good. But, uh, anyway, so this past weekend, I took a little trip. Little outing uh, to Savannah, Georgia. Had fun, 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 fun. Well, I had a nice time. I had a good time. And um, I saw. Oh, shit. Damn it, get in the middle. But I saw. I went on this um, tour of Gulfstream. And everything, it was, it was cool. It was really cool. The weather was nice. They had like a family day thing. They had a lot going. It was real, real nice. And the weather was uh, perfect. I had fun. But, um, so, you know, y'all yeah, know I'm from Alabama, right? So, my whole my weekend was kind of messed up only because you know Alabama played LSU I like LSU when they're not playing Alabama I like Alabama when they playing everybody else I'll never be a Georgia fan so sorry so sorry so sorry and with that being said I was also hurt and crushed this weekend when the Saints lost. Now, everybody knows I love the Saints and I love Alabama. I don't know what happened. Watch my... Hold on, yeah, I'm trying to adjust these contacts so they can stay... Get your ass. Get in. Okay. Let's see. They just gray. Anywho. So they lost. So Alabama lost against LSU. Congratulations, LSU. And um, I'm like, what the? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I'm, I don't even know. I don't know. All I know is Alabama lost against LSU, and the damn Saints lost against the uh, Falcons. The Falcons 
are not a good team at all. And I'm I'm talking about I was thrown back at the whole weekend. I was like, so in order for me to have a great weekend, my damn team's got to lose. I was so hurt. But um you know, I'm not like I'm a still uh, uh I'm a still Alabama fan. And they were talking about um <laughs> they funny, people crazy. They was talking about um Donald because Donald Trump was there. He was bad luck. He was a uh, bad luck to Alabama. And they started winning a little bit. When um he left, which was true. I mean, I, I mean, he, they started winning when you know he left, but we ain't gonna just blame that on uh, Donald Trump. But you know, they try to make a so people try to make a story out of everything. So that was them doing that, and then the guy went and bust the um balloon, the baby Trump balloon that they uh, the protesters bring. Around wherever he's at, they show up with the uh, baby Trump balloon. And you know, people actually, they set up a GoFundMe page for this dude's um, legal um, bills and expenses and stuff and bail and stuff. And they raised like 30 something thousand dollars for this guy. And y'all telling me people donate to what they want to donate to. Because you got homeless people out here. You got uh, kids that need to be adopted. You got people who can't afford their medicine. And you got people coming up with um, $36,000 in what, a day or two? Because this man bust a Trump balloon. People donate to what they want to. To what they want to don donate to, but they uh, I heard today that uh, GoFundMe is refunding everybody their money back who donated for that stupid jump. You know, I guess they didn't get enough energy sucking out of it as they thought it was gonna do with people responding to different stuff. So, um, they, um, refunded people their money back or whatever. So, hey, that's what they did. And, um, that was that. I don't want to talk about it no more. I feel like Alabama is going to win the rest of their games. Um, I'm looking for the iron, I'm looking forward to the iron bowl that always happens on, um, that always happens on um, Thanksgiving. Um, and, um, yeah, that's that. I don't want to talk about football no more. And um, them old memories, and we're going to leave that in the past. So, um, what was I going to say next? So, uh, the Popeye's chicken sandwich. Okay, so these people are going crazy and doing stuff with the Popeye's chicken sandwich. The guy died in Maryland. Of course, that was um, symbolic if you are a spiritual person and you look up the symbolism behind the whole story and the whole situation. That's what that was, so. And, um, and then you had the lady at the Popeyes, and she was uh, being mad, racist, and disrespectful. And they slam, uh, the guy slammed her on the ground, and he was charged with um, assault. And then you had the story about the other guy, the other white guy who was racist and the 
in the Popeyes and they waited until they he left and he was uh, stabbed. And um, it's a lot of racist stuff going on uh, in the so in the media. Because uh, today I heard that some lady called Trina a uh, ENB. Y'all figure out what those mean. And she went off on um, her at the Walmart because she called her an ENB. And um, I don't understand why some Caucasian people. Just like it's 2019, it's 2019, right? What I don't understand in 2019 is that people are sit up there and be like, oh, you know, you they like Jews deserve uh reparations and, and rights, thing, and you can't be race discriminatory in that. Latinos, you can't be, you know what I'm saying? You got the LGBTQ, A, B, C, D, E, F, G community. Not, I love the alphabets, but I'm just saying, it's like they got all of these laws and all of these the rules and regulations and all of this stuff when it comes to everybody else. But yet, when it comes to African Americans and black people, it's like there is no law that says, okay, if you outright call a black person out of their name, something that a derogatory name that y'all made up, that's no law against that. That's like verbal assault. That's I think that's verbal assault, and it should be a law against that. Like, that's not right. We don't go around calling Caucasian people hunkies. We don't do that. I mean, you know, excuse my language, but we don't do that because we know that what that's going to do. I mean, that's just like if somebody go and call you stupid, that don't make you stupid. So I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Be you showing your ignorance by call like we know, that's why you know the more and more they try to do they try to get get aroused out of us or get aroused out of people energy sucking and all that kind of stuff but now some people you know some people black people they be like we not even finna respond to that because i'm not what you call me so just stop calling people that like that's stupid i don't care what you know what i'm saying like we sit up there and we use the word because it's just We, uh, we just, you know, we, we use it to show each other, like to show other black people. It's not, we not going to take it as, uh, um, an insult. Okay. So that don't mean just because we use it and we don't take it as an insult. Don't mean you have the right to use it. I mean, it's just what it is. Stop using it. Stop saying it. You're not finna get aroused because you want to get aroused out of us. And then we're going to be the ones that fight. Then we end up being the ones in trouble. And then they like, oh, whoa, it's me because I got my butt whooped out in public because I want to call somebody like that. ain't no, if you feel like, I feel like if you can, if you feel like it's okay, if it's okay for you to use that word out in public in the um, form of damn disrespecting um can you see me? uh of disrespecting black people can you see I done messed up it it's kind of cloudy but um But, um, it'll be all right. Y'all can still hear me, so it don't even matter. Oh, I see what it's doing. No, we're not doing it. Okay. 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 So, yeah, stop doing it. Just stop using it. Stop saying it. Stop. It's 2019. Like, get over yourself. Let it go. So, anywho. So, so the Popeye's chicken sandwich. Okay, I tasted the Popeye's chicken sandwich on two separate occasions. Yes, I was in line for over an hour and a half. No, um, I just did it because I'm like, let me see. I just want to see what everybody's talking about. It wasn't the fact that, um, oh my God. Yeah. Mm, I just wanted to see what the hype was about. I wouldn't have seen what the hype was about. It's a delicious chicken sandwich. No, it's no... Which one do you like better, Chick-fil-A or... Oh, shit. 
Chick-fil-A or Popeyes. I like both of them because I'm fat and I like chicken. So, hey, I eat both of them. But, um, but yeah, they're good. And, um, then that's just that. So, uh, what else? We got the T.I. story. So, the T.I. story, when he's supposed to be checking his, um, he takes his daughter to the, um, to the gynecologist to check and see if her, um, but she's still a virgin. Oh, shit. Damn it. Oh, Lord, I hope that didn't miss up my eyelash because I got to use this. I'm not, I'm, hell, no, I'm not going to. I just use the open ease. But, um, but, yeah, with that story, first of all, he don't want his daughter with no average broke man. So, She's more valuable in the wealthy circle being a virgin as opposed to because he he's like basically promoting his daughter. Like, hey, you know how they used to do when they found uh husbands for their um daughters and 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 it had to be like the person that was the wealthiest or uh, contributed. It was an asset to the family. Like, a, you know, a good um, money maker for the family. When, um, you know how that guys, you know, dudes set up, um, fathers set up their um, daughters and gave them away. Because, you know, back in the day, you used to have to pay for people, um, People's, you know, they used to have to pay for daughters in order to get their hand in marriage. That's why it was a thing where they had to go and get the blessing and ask the dad's permission. That's where that came from. So he's basically like, look, my daughter's a virgin. She's from a wealthy family. She's from a two parent home. She's on the straight and narrow. All of the people who are worthy of getting a good girl version or whatever is like, he basically promoted her. So she won't be, so no dusty dudes won't um, come trying to holler at her. Because he probably seen the one that was, she was attracted to her, was trying to holler at her. And he was like letting them know. In advance, like, nah, she she worth something. You know what I'm saying? So, if it was a lot of girls out there who had dads who told them and let them know, like, you're worth something. You don't have to settle for this dusty guy, this, this dusty guy. It's a lot of girls out there that wouldn't have, you know, we would have made different decisions in life. My dad was in my life, but he never... I mean, he, you know, he, you know, he always was like, he always be like, you my chosen one, da, 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 da. But me, it wasn't because, I mean, I don't know. To be honest with you, I just was like, I was always, I'm going to do what I want to do type person. And that's what that was. With why, who I choose, chose to be with. I mean, I wasn't trying to have no kids, but... They here. I mean, like, what you? Because you know, I had I, I. It's a YouTuber that I follow. She had her tubes tied, burnt, and clipped, and she still ended up pregnant. So, but anyway, that's off the subject. But anyway, so I don't care. Like, basically, if he wanna, he just basically trying to pr promote his daughter as a a prize a worthy person to be with a guy and don't come less than what T.I. feels like she deserves to be with. Or, uh, you know, at least in a, 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 a positive addition 
to the family as opposed to uh, what uh, Nicki Minaj picked. But she can pick who she want to pick because she got her own money. And at the end of the day, these women out here who millionaires and got their own money, unless you go the route that Rihanna went, because you want to find somebody doing better than you in order for that guy to feel appreciated and, and, and valuable in the relationship. So if they millionaires, she can't date nobody that's uh, less accomplished or has less money than her because uh, he, he ain't going to be worth nothing. I mean, at the end of the day, he ain't going to be worth nothing. So you got them lashes on. That's all it is. So, um, that's what that is. So, hey, but, um, yeah, that's why Nicki Minaj chose him because at the end of the day, she probably dated all these wealthy guys and they still wasn't worth it. So she was like, you know what? I got my own money. Let me marry for love. And then she might be like a controlling the relationship type person anyway. So that works out for her. And I'm sure it worked out for him. Or oh, having money and he won't have, he really ain't got to do nothing. So if it worked for them, that's them. You can't get mad at who somebody chooses. Even though it's ass backwards to me because I ain't marrying no broke ass dude. I'm sorry, I'm not doing it. I don't give a damn. I ain't one of these people. He gotta be. I don't care if he's black, white, Puerto Rican, Haitian, or whatever. He just ain't finna be broke. Cause I ain't, I ain't trying to beat you. Cause we ain't finna break up. Cause we broke. Like, come on now. No, I'm not finna do that. I ain't rich. Or I ain't even balling. But I'm just saying. I don't. I don't I'm not. I rather not even marry than to marry. And we gotta fight over finances. That's not gonna work. I ain't gonna do it. But anyway, on to the next. Okay, so I was introduced to this history uh cartoon type situation. And it was called oh my god, what was it called? Something 360. If I when I figure it out the name of it, it's good. It's on uh YouTube. Thank you for um Turning me on today. See, my son, he doesn't like history. And he thinks it's boring. I think that that's a great way for... I'm going to turn him on to that so he can watch that. And maybe he'll look at that and learn history and make it seem fun and interesting to him. And you know, I like stuff like Drunk History. Drunk History is like one of the funniest shows on... It's funny. So, I like Drunk History. So, anywho. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use... Fenty. I'm going to use my Fenty. I use it on use Fenty to go to the gym. But I'm going to use it today. So I'm going to put one drop over here, one drop. I use it on put that much. And then with Fenty, I notice it oxidizes. So you see how light it look right here? Trust and believe by the time I get out the door and the uh, air hit it, it's going to turn into... The color that I need by the time you know you contour and you put the dark in there with it, it's gonna look like highlight. It's we're gonna show you. So anywho, so uh so thank you for turning me on to that show. That was a good show. I'ma come up, I'm gonna tell you the name of it when I come. It's but I know it's something 360. And I watched that this weekend, it was so interesting to me. And uh but anyway, so, um, yeah, I'm going to turn my son on to that so he can watch it. And hopefully, he'll find history interesting and he can stop skipping that damn class. Because he's going to get his butt kicked. So, anyway. So, um. So, I was, I watch, on the weekends, I watch, um, you know, sports, football. And, uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta came back, um, on... Last the first episode was last Sunday, and Nene Leaks was not on there. She's not gonna be on the first two episodes 
I don't know, probably with the incident with Kenya or whatever, but she wasn't on the one that happened this Sunday, but she was on, and she wasn't on the first one or whatever. The first one was basically um, Eva and her talking about she don't want Kenya. She didn't really want Kenya around her kids after she threw Kenya through the birthday party for her daughter. And her daughter is so beautiful. She like a dog. And, um, you know, and they was talking about how the girl who Porsche Dennis supposed to be cheated with came into old lady gang and all of that. And they, you know, one person told this person, this person told the candy was like, because it happened at the old lady gang, either make it seem like she being messy because, you know, she had so much to say or about uh, her moving Portia, moving too fast with Dennis, which was right. Because I'm looking like, why do we these women go and get pregnant by the guys first before they even get married? Like, and then they, they know better because they got money. But she was so concerned about her having to give up her house and sharing. But that's what these prenups are for. You know what I'm saying? So... If y'all come up, if y'all if y'all can't come up with a good agreement in the prenup, then that just means you don't get married. That don't mean go and get pregnant, and then now you have to give the engagement ring back. And who gives their engagement ring back? You the one who cheated. Like I give it back if I don't want you. If I decide after I said yeah, and then I'm like, you know what? I was lying. I don't want to marry this man for real, and I give you your ring back. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day. I don't want no part of you anyway, and I don't want to look down at the damn ring and be, rem I, if I don't want you, I don't want you. I don't want nothing connected to you. Like, I don't want to, like, mm -mm. I gave some jewelry back before because it's like, hey, I thought I was done. I was like, I ain't the motherfucker back no more. And it shit. I mean, excuse me, but no. Mm -mm. So, anywho, so he asked for the engagement ring back and stuff. In the last episode, she gave it back to him. But y'all know they back together. Because that's her baby they get it. So she ain't finna um she wasn't finna let leave him alone like that. Anyway, so we all we, we knew that that was just probably a storyline or and then yeah, you are he was already with all these different women. When they met, like, he had this girlfriend. He got all these ladies' names tattooed on him and stuff. So, come on, how serious? And one woman, man, did she think he was going to be? And she just was, like, getting older, and she wanted a baby. And Kenya, she was, you know, when I saw her at Old Lady Gang, you know, she ran out the door. She seemed like uh, she didn't do nothing to me to where she, I felt as if she was a, a mean person. And I feel like, you know, she knows what to do in order to keep relevant and keep her role on the show. Because, you know, if anything went, like if the person was like, no offense, Kim Fields. You see, she lasted one episode because don't nobody like that on a show, a TV show, they don't like no, I do everything good by the book type. You know, everybody like, on TV people like drama. And if you, you gonna have to throw some kind of shade, drama or getting into it or being messy a little bit somewhere in there in order for your storyline to remain relevant or you gonna be on that one season and they gonna get rid of you. Because, like, even Cynthia is so sweet. Because, like, I met her. She was a real nice lady. I took pictures with her at the old lady game. But, you know, she has to have a storyline, too. And, and, and in this episode, her daughter, beautiful, beautiful little girl. Beautiful girl. Not little girl, but beautiful girl. Just like her mama. She said uh, she like boys. She's attracted to boys and girls. She like boys and girls. And, you know, she started college. So, we knew that was going to happen. That's just, well, experiment going on. And then in 2019, everybody just, like, so free with, they they like, love all. It, it don't matter who you love. You love everybody. But uh, that's them. I ain't, I don't know. I think women are beautiful, too. But I ain't trying to be 
with one sexually. Like, that's just not my cup of tea. I like the D. But anyway, so, um, too much information. But anyway, so, uh, so yeah, she revealed, uh, that she like, uh, girls and boys, which we, I knew what was going on. It ain't no shock to me. That's probably why her mom wasn't like, oh, well, she like, yeah. I'm pretty sure that was gonna happen. You went to college in 2019. Yeah, that happened when it wasn't 2019. So I know she knew it was gonna happen. So she like, okay, go on, figure out what it is you wanna do. And when it's time for you to introduce, introduce me to um, look at this man. This man look like he is. This man got two diamonds. I wish I could show you this. This man got two. Big diamond, it, boy, I gotta show y'all this here. And he just cheating on this lady, look. And he admitted to everything. He done cheated on this lady, look. Boy, boy, boy. Anyway, and she just, oh, I'm so shocked and, and, and destruct. They be coming on out with all this evidence pointing to these men cheating. And then they like, I found draws. I found text messages. I found pregnancy tests. I find I caught him in the act, but I want to bring him on here to see if he cheating. Boy, I okay, whatever. So, uh, so yeah, but that basically that episode, it it was a tearjerker because uh, Portia was genuinely hurt, and she basically put all her eggs in one basket with Dennis. And we all know we shouldn't do that. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. We all should not put all of our hopes and dreams and expectations into one person. It's just not logical. But she, you know, she, she thought she was secure in the bag. And the man basically like... Because she done went and had the baby, his baby, first baby. And she y'all not to cry. You better get with that man. And and if it don't work out after you forgive him the second time, you better get the child support. You better get the get the get the filing paperwork. You better get to doing it. Like these some of these men don't understand. I'm gonna give you the chance to act right and do right. And if you don't take this invitation to me asking you to uh requesting that you act right not requesting demanding that you act right and treat me right if you don't want to take it and i got a baby by you then yeah you're going to child support like i don't see what's wrong like no don't be trying to make it seem like well it's hard out here you wasn't thinking about how hard it was when you was doing what you was doing so it, it that's that's how i feel he didn't care so i don't feel like she should go into there Thinking about, well, I'm going to get, I'm going to dip in. He won't be able to pay his bills and he won't be able to do this. You should have thought, man, shut up. Anyway, so we ain't finna get on that. There's a whole new story for a whole new different day. So, um, so yeah, so she says she backslid, which we all knew what was going to happen. Not because the show aired, um, after, you know, the, it, it, it technically happened. It's just that um, we all know that was she, she. Come on now, come on now. We know that with these baby daddies, sometimes like I did it a couple of times. Like you might didn't like them, or they did something, and then they came over to see the baby, and one thing led to another. It all happened happens to the best of us, but. And uh, she wasn't over him, and she felt like, ooh, this is a way to try to get him back on my side. And it was his way of, like, trying to ease on back in now. So, you see what I'm saying? How the, uh, I put the makeup on, and it looked, like, super-duper bright when I first put it on, and then now it don't. Yeah, it don't. I'm just trying to blend this out a little bit. So, um, so yeah, she was crying. She was upset. They went to counseling, and he told exactly what happened. She didn't want to believe what happened. 
he told her like basically what you uh thought happened really happened i slept with somebody else she was heartbroken she was hurt she supposed to use that to her advantage stop all that crying and keep moving but um that's what that was with the real housewives of atlanta i'm like you know i watched that and I'm going to continue to watch it to see what happens. Nene is supposed to be on the third episode. So we're going to watch, um, continue to watch and see what Nene, what Nene, um, has to say when she comes back into the, um, camera. Oh, y'all see that? Yep. Whatever. And, um. And, um, yeah, we're going to see what that is. So, the next show I watch, I'm, I'm going to get into The Watchmen. I, I, it's been good, but I got to start from the beginning, the you know, first episode, and get caught up before I even start talking about that because I really don't have no input. I just know that I'm int I am got intrigued in the episodes that I did watch. So, I'm going to watch that. Okay. So, um... Yeah. So um we going to do that. And um so the next show I watch So Power. Yeah, crazy. Y'all know Power um Ghost got shot. We waiting to see um in January who shot goes. We got all these theories. Everybody was thinking like it was Tariq who's the last one in the um in the thing in the in the in the truth. Um, and it was like everybody else didn't make it. They were walking, they were driving, they didn't quite make it there. And it was like Kane is really not dead. It might have been him. It was what's her name? Rosetta, Raquetta, Robin, Rosie. What's the damn lady name? The lady who he go with. The one, the one who helped him get on that work for tape. You know, y'all know who the hell I'm talking about. So, um, y'all know I'm bad with names, y'all get it together. So, um, so her, he, everybody saying it's her. And then, they really, don't nobody really know. They saying, they really don't know. I thought it was Tariq, but, and then everybody say it might be a dream. Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know. And all that we knew is wait and watch when it comes back on in January. And, um, Xfinity, you guys are on the BS. And it ain't because of stars, neither. It's because of some other stuff y'all got going on. But I ain't even about to give y'all my energy to even talk about it. Y'all just know y'all on some BS. That's all I got to say about Xfinity. I ain't really like y'all, but sometimes it's according to where you live. It's kind of what you forced to get. Cable is just too goddamn high for y'all. Anybody's cable is too motherfucking high. Excuse me, too high to be charging people $120, $130, $80 for internet. It's just stupid. Everybody, it's like everything that we have to pay for in life, we ain't often going to lose rent. Everything we got to pay on if somebody has found a way to charge people for stuff that we supposed to be getting free. Water. Ow. Well, how you charging me for water? How you charging me? Then go and make water. Then go and make air. So how the hell is somebody going to go and charge me for something that God made? Y'all the trip. Y'all the trip. But anyway, off the rent. So, um, so, uh, yeah. So, um, what was I talking about? That's a damn shame. Um, so, Paul, yeah, and they, they on some other stuff, you know, the, um, cable company on some other stuff, but they gonna probably lose customers, probably, probably figure out something. I don't know. I don't watch it on Xfinity. No way. So. <laughs> yeah, I could take a lead. But um so um 
We got, oh, I watched the Harriet Tubman movie. It was a good movie. I'm not really feeling all of the why every time you look around, they have to keep reminding uh, black people that our ancestors were slaves, but you won't make a movie reminding us how our ancestors were kings and pharaohs and queens. And we still are. Do better. That's all I got to say on that. And, um, I got to turn. And, um, yeah, so I don't know why, um, they won't make, you know, stuff for that. I watched the Dolomite movie. That was hella funny. If anybody get a chance to, um, to watch that. If you haven't got a chance to watch it, please watch that one. That was a real funny um, movie. I think Wesley Snipes is gay. That's that's the, he could be. I don't care because I don't want him. And even if I did, I think he might be gay now, or probably was the whole time since he made the the uh, drag movie back in the day. Two wrong fools. Who wrong shoe or whatever damn name was the he 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 gay now okay so um yeah that's yeah but it was funny it was funny it was funny it was funny it is just one of the movies you gotta watch, watch Harry Tubman you can watch that it was a real good movie the black man now who was who was hunting out Harry Tubman he, he got what he deserved in the movie you an asshole and I love Janelle Monae she was in the movie love her love her love her love her love her and um she was in the movie also so um so That was um that. So now, since I'm almost through, the last thing we're going to discuss, the last thing we're going to discuss is the godfather of heart. If you don't watch the godfather of Harlem, you are not living the Godfather of Harlem is like the best show that's out now. It is. Really. And you know what I haven't watched? I think I watched Empire twice. I think I watched that um show twice. And I don't think I watched it after that. I don't know. What's up with that? I don't know. That's crazy. I and I hadn't heard nobody even talking about it. So that let you know. I just I don't know. They shouldn't have got real juicy uh smoke smooth ale juicy. They shouldn't have got rid of juicy. And it's like they ran out of storyline because hell I thought like with Andre, I was like, if he lose another damn baby and wife, I'm gonna jump through this damn screen because this is crazy. It's like the same Thing it's like the same um uh storyline like they keep doing the same thing I'm like oh baby it's over like damn he must not even have no damn baby he just they doing the faith and God test and I don't know I just can't do it. anyway go for the Harlem best show out best show out best show out if you hadn't watched it it's the it's like the seven episode or whatever i love the song the intro song like that i don't know if they say pain or again don't you think it's like saying pain i'm gonna look up the words open up my you know what I'm saying. so anyway um so yeah they got uh they got so, 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 so. this last episode um um, so the girl, so Bumpy's daughter, Elise, she um tells Malcolm X that the uh, Elijah Muhammad wants her to be just black. 
God damn it. Don't mind me. I'm up. Uh, my business. I'm going to use the wrong thing. With. I'm going to get this brown. I think I put this. No, this brown. No, this black. Motherfucker. Brown that. Black brown, okay. I was gonna say this looked at dark. But um, so she uh she told him that Elijah Muhammad is uh looking uh is keeping an eye on him and wants her to report back to him what he's doing or whatever. And um Hold on, y'all. I'm, I'm finna turn around. I don't wanna watch uh Steve Wilkos. Not right. It ain't that I don't like Steve Wilkos. I just don't want I don't like when episodes where the man is beating the women and and uh they in there for um shit. And they in there for um molestation and stuff. No, I ain't got time. Mm -mm. Shoot. Counselor. Okay, here we go. Okay. So, um, so, um, so, yeah, so she tell him, man, he, she tell him what he wants to do. And he was like, well, like, everybody is kind of like, got it out for me. And she tried to, and she grabbed his hand. It was like, you such a wonderful man. She tried to shoot a shot at um, Malcolm X. And he kind of like turned her down uh, or whatever. And she was like, I'm scared for you. And he was like, well, we got to all die. We we all going to die. So it's just a matter of when. So, um, so then she finds, uh, so then it, it goes to, uh, oh, the bumper had to kill his friend. Gusto. The Mexican dude, uh, Latin, you know his friend. So you know he kills him and he meets up with the um, Bonanno guy. So um, basically, don't I swear to God, this is not gonna look like this. I trust me, I blend this out. I just did this because I want the 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 color that I'm gonna put over this a little darker than what it is. So when I mix that with that and then blend it, it kind of looks like ombre. Forget y'all. Don't come for me. Whatever. That's how I want to leave alone. So, anyway. So, um, so they meet up and everything. And then Teddy, stupid self, the one who, <laughs> y'all, I'm not going to go through this whole episode, but I'm just going to say that Teddy is dumb and he needs help. <laughs> And uh, he goes with the white girl and then the white girl, Stella, is, in, in, you know, is uh, with Bumpy to help uh, get her daddy off her back. The daddy is so funny, Vic. He's still playing like he crazy to get the feds off him. That man is hilarious. The one who played on, uh, yeah, I remember him about uh, Law and Order. What is Law and Order? I think that was where he was on. Uh, on Law and Order. Yes, he is so funny, but he's just doing that to um get off of that. And then Bumpy's daughter, uh, well, Elisa's daughter, who Bumpy took in after the mama got on drugs. She's off drugs, been off drugs for three months and 27 days. That's what she said. And um, so she, the Margaret. Margaret, um, what's her name? The mama, Mammy. Is that her name, Mammy? Mammy, uh, she um finds uh the duchy she finds the duchy in um the daughter's uh room and so she thinking she's on drugs like the mama was and she got to go find her because she come up missing and she has to uh go to malcolm x and get his tip with trying to find marvin and he 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 says hook up with elise and she'll be able to help you because she know all the places where the the drug addicts hang out at and then they uh go and uh they do some talking and she apologizes for giving her a hundred dollars that time when she came to her house and turned her away and turns her away um and she was like I'm learning to forgive but I ain't there yet so and so anyway so basically uh Teddy threatens the guy who they got to try to kill him. And it's just okay. So Vic, the dude who's on Lord, he just like he all over the place. He trying to 
like ask for forgiveness because you know he killed banana on Sunday and uh and um and a bumpy is trying to turn the uh Italians against each other and he he enlists the help of uh the guy who signed um Teddy onto the record label. It's like a whole y'all got to watch it. I don't want like I don't like telling every single detail of the show and then you be like, what the hell? I'm finna go watch for you. Just told me what happened. So I ain't gonna tell y'all exactly exactly what happened. <sighs> but I'ma say it. But you know this but anyway, so so I need some something for my lips, but I gotta do some with these edges, but it's okay. Then, like I said, what's the see? Anyway, so um, so um, he um, what I'm talking about? So so basically, he told her find Margaret. She ain't on drugs. She was hiding um, she was hiding in Bumpy's office at the place to hide out that he found her. Um, and everything, and then Elise at the end, Elise and Mamie is together, and they he finds them. He met up, he was like, Look, we found her, she's safe. And she was like, Oh, yeah, Elise helped me, um, find her, she was a big help. Da, 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 da. And then she, Elise called Bumpy daddy, and so Margaret looked at her because you know, she she read the letter of when she was calling her daddy before, and she was wondering, like, Damn, is dad my sister? So, you know, Margaret is Elise's daughter. So, anyway, so she asked her. So, she asked her, um, dad, why did she call you? Um, she was like, why did she call you daddy? Is she my sister? And they was looking at her like, please don't tell this little girl you her mama. Please don't tell this little girl you her mama. And, um, she was like, yes, I'm your sister. And I was like, oh, she decided to not um reveal to the little girl that she was her mom. Oh Lord, I gotta do my hair. Mm, I do it. But um yeah. And so she did soon as we was like, oh, she didn't reveal to her. They go and shoot Bobby. And guess who shot Bobby? I ain't gonna tell you because your ass need to go watch Godfather of Harlem. It's fine. It's good. It's what's the 2019 slang that the little kids use for real good? Whatever that is. Because I don't know. But it was real good. You gonna have to watch it. Watch the first episode. Watch it all the way. Binge watch it all the way. Because you're going to keep wanting to watch it. Watch all the way up until the seventh episode, which is the episode that we're on now. You have a whole week now to go ahead and watch it and get caught up. Get you a Popeye's chicken sandwich. It ain't going to kill you. But if you got two hours out your life to spend in the line before it dwindles down and we have to get ready for these Thanksgiving meals and stuff, go and get you a Popeye's. Go and get your little Chick-fil-A. Go and get your little Marcos. Go get it. whoever you want to eat. Go and get it. The Popeye's chicken sandwich is good. It's not stab a bitch good. But, you know, over a sandwich. But it's good. Like, if you got extra two hours out your day to sit in line, I don't have. So get your two up. Get your sp two spicy ones. Because you don't want no regular chicken sandwich. Get you a spicy one. The spicy one's the better. Do that. Watch, um... If you want a little drama, it ain't no, uh, look at all here. You don't, um, you can get, you can watch you some more. Don't do Jerry. <laughs> Jerry, a little too. Ugh. But you, you can watch you some more. You can watch you some Real Housewives of Atlanta. Kenya Moore, your ass gorgeous. Cynthia ba Bailey, you and your daughter's gorgeous. Everybody having babies on the show. Portia, we don't blame you. We done backslid too. Like, um, leave T.I. His, his, his family alone. He trying to go on and find his daughter a good guy with money who worth her time. I ain't mad at you. It is what it is. And if she come back where she had been doing something, it ain't nothing you can do about it, T.I. Let, let your people go. Like, it is what it is. Um, Donald Trump, stay away from Alabama games. They don't want you back there no more. I'm just going to let you know it is what it is. I don't care what he do, but I'm just letting you know they're kind of going to ban you from this point on. 
Um, Saints, I'm still your girl. Woo, woo that. So I die. Um, I don't know nothing else. Nothing else that's worth talking about in the news. Oh, they trying to do the tell all way. Whitney Houston supposed to be, you know, fooling around with the with the lady and she's a legend. I don't care about her doing drugs and then like that. The lady could sing. The lady was talented. The lady is always gonna be um a great person in my eyes. Just like everybody talk about Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson is the king of kings and cannot I'm sorry, whatever bad things y'all try to talk about him, y'all can go to hell in a handbasket and it is what it is. Um take that mega bus to hell and go on about your business. Um that's about it, but I'm about to um Blend this out so y'all won't come for me trying to make it like I was back in the 80s. And, um, see, watch, I'm, I'm blending. <laughs> I thought y'all were gonna come for me, but it'll be all right. But I'm blending it out and, um, go to the gym and run a couple of errands. And the kids, they're gonna be out of school um pretty soon and i'll be having to make it because they'll be coming here asking me different kinds of questions y'all know my head all over the place as it is but um this is simple not heavy i don't think makeup look hair in a ponytail i'm gonna fix this up ladies down and all of this i'm not gonna do all that on camera that ain't none of y'all business um what's underneath this and um that's about it so i'll try to Come on here again. Probably be another week before I come on here again. Do another chit chat. Probably talk about the next episode of Godfather Hall and probably talk about the Real Housewives and um of Atlanta. If I don't see you guys by um I will probably see you guys again before um Thanksgiving. But if I don't or you guys don't get to see me, enjoy your holidays, enjoy your family, enjoy your friends, enjoy the food. Um don't let nobody judge you about what you eat. You eat what you want as long as it don't kill you. Um, go out, try something new, laugh more. Don't let what's going on in the media make you react, you know, negatively. Um, like I said, smile more, call people, laugh, tell jokes. Um, just Live life. Be happy. Be happy. And I'll see you guys next time. And this is the Brown Goddess. I'm going to go. I'm going to finish watching Couples Cook with the Cutlers. And I will see you guys later.